What's up? This is Craig Mabbitt from Escape the Fate, and you're watching the Kerrang! Podcast. Hello and welcome to the Kerrang! Podcast here. I'm with Craig Mabbitt from Escape the Fate. Uh, you're doing a whirlwind uh, tour of yes. the, uh, London mm -hmm. uh, this week uh, to promote the new album, Ungrateful. Uh, can you tell us a bit about the album first? Um, well, you know, the album has been the longest, most strenuous process of my entire life. How so? Probably. I'd have to agree. Um, well, for instance, we completely finished an entire album with John Feldman mm -hmm. and then decided not to rush it and completely cut the album in half. What? Dropped half the album, yeah. went in the studio. I mean, we flew to this producer, that producer, decided at the end of the day, why are we paying these guys just to hear their opinion? Mm -hmm. If we, if we want to do what we want to do, why don't we just do it? Mm -hmm. So we went in the studio on our own, hired a mixer, an engineer, and uh, now we got ungrateful. Right. You know, hap like, there's about six or seven tracks on the album that did not exist before we went in the studio on our own. What made you take that leap? You know, we, re we replaced our bass player, our mm -hmm. guitarist wanted to come back. All those things together, um, trying to find a new label, Trying to trying to find new management, trying to do new business management, and uh, at the end of the day, we just decided, why are we going to rush it? You know, we finished a whole album with John, and uh, we were ready to release it, but we just weren't fully satisfied with it. So, you know, we made the decision to not, why are we going to rush it and release an album that uh, we don't like? Yeah, yeah. You know, how do you promote an album like that? Yeah, you can't put you. You know, you're talking to people, it. so, you know, mm -hmm. Escape the Fate, they're back. Mm -hmm. What do you think about my new album? I don't like it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah. How do you promote something you don't, you don't enjoy? So, I I'm happy we took a step back, but it did cost us a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I'm just really grateful for all the fans we have that have stuck with us. What, what's the story behind the actual album title? Um, it has a lot to do with uh, our guitarist, actually. Right. I, I had a completely different album title and artwork direction. It was going to be called Rise of the Phoenix. Mm -hmm. It's going to be like, yeah, skip the fate rising from the ashes. Mm -hmm. It's epic. But, uh, you know, our guitarist explained it to me, and he didn't want to tour for a while because he wasn't satisfied with what our bass player was doing. Yeah. Um, our bass player needed to go to rehab, Max, and yeah, he's yeah. not in the band anymore. And... Uh, He's like, you know what, I don't need to be on the road, I don't need a tour, I can be a stay-at-home guitarist and songwriter. I was like, what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Like, we're not Metallica. Yeah. People want to come see Escape the Fate if they're coming to see an Escape the Fate show. Like, yeah. They want to see all the members. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when he came to us with that title, he was like, you know what, and this is the attitude of the whole band, by the way, you know, it's a huge metaphor. Um, He's just like, I've been so ungrateful for what I have. You know, I've, I've cared too much about what I don't have. Mm -hmm. And I need to start paying attention to what's right in front of me. And, uh, you know, I, I really, really like that. And it's cool to see the camaraderie of the band now yeah. and the attitude of the band. Everybody's just so appreciative of just having the chance to be here. You yeah. know what I mean? Having, having the chance to sit down with you mm -hmm. and talk about my album or yeah. having the chance to walk up on stage and play for people, you know? It's... Uh, it's very easy to lose sight of that when you have everything handed to you as a band. How, how is Max these days? I think he's doing a little better. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I definitely stay in touch with the guy. I love him to death. He's my brother for life. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's unfortunate that we can't be in the same band together because the other guys just couldn't handle it anymore. Yeah, yeah. But uh, at the end of the day, the show must go on. I mean, how long have you been off the road, directing? Um, it. I don't know the exact time frame. It's, it's been a good. Forever. It's been, yeah. It's been a good year or so, but it's definitely been the most time off I've had since I started touring, which mm -hmm. is 16 years old. Wow. And I'm going to be 26 on the 9th of April. Right. So in how, about a week or so. Yeah. How are you going to celebrate your birthday? Um, I don't know. Do, I don't know do you celebrate. still live in Vegas or? I live in Phoenix now. All oh, right. Well, yeah. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, probably just hang out with family and enjoy it while I have the chance because yeah. I've, I've had so much time off lately that I know it's about to get super, super busy Yeah, yeah. because, you know, the whole band is ready to go and we have a huge team behind us that is really, really supportive. Mm -hmm. So I know they're going to be working our asses off. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I mean, just to be able to be at home and celebrate a birthday, I think I'm just going to try to appreciate that before, before I go out there and I'm... Yeah. I'm busy as shit. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Apart from working on the album, I mean, what did you find it really hard to readjust to having 
free time. I think so. I definitely agree with that. Um, we uh, on the new album we have a live DVD of us playing the Roxy in LA, mm -hmm. <laughs> and I I really really wish that we had uh, a few warm up shows before that. Okay. You know what I mean? <laughs> like a few warm up shows just to get back in the groove. Yeah. Because they film it all, so you can you can see it if you buy the deluxe edition, and it's really looking at a band at their rarest form. It was us performing for the first time in a year and a half. Us playing some new songs for the first time live, and uh, they filmed it all. Wow, in you know HD. I mean? yeah. yeah, in HD. So <laughs> you can definitely. I mean, I've watched it a few times. I'm like, why was I so weird looking? You know, it's, it's like you're trying to get back in the groove of stuff mm -hmm. when you're on the stage, and uh, it's interesting. It's interesting. You know, I don't. I don't know if I hate it, but I definitely do like it because. It's something cool for the fans yeah. to see a band their rarest, most raw form mm -hmm. trying to get back in the groove of things. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's cool. What, could, what would you change about that show if, if you had a magic uh, filter um, on the uh, process? <laughs> I'd probably change, uh, probably change myself. Right. I'd probably do a couple warm-up shows. <laughs> right. Change uh, my ability. But, uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know how many singers think like that. But I definitely hate the sound of my own voice. So if you hate the sound of your own voice and you're in a band, yeah. it's a little difficult to get shit done. Yeah, yeah. Is it a bit like some? So here's the mix of a song. What do you think? <laughs> should we get a new singer? I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> the band should probably get a new singer. Yeah. Is it like being on Sing Star after having a few beers? Yeah. And you don't quite know the song. Yeah. You just have a go. Yeah. It makes me feel like uh, <laughs> I hung out with a bunch of fans once in Japan, and <laughs> they took me to a karaoke bar, and I mean I was wasted. And they made me sing my own song, and then somebody showed me the video afterwards. It's not even online anywhere. It's just, you know, one of the Japan kids showed me it on a cell phone, and I was like, "Oh my god, I'm like the worst singer alive. <laughs> this is horrible." <laughs> I was like, "Please don't ever post this anywhere. Yeah. And if you do, make sure they know I was a little under the influence." Right. So, uh, so you'll be back uh, sort of early June then. Mm -hmm. uh, Make sure you get some uh, more shows and develop. I definitely will. I definitely will. Uh, good luck with Ungrateful. Thank you very and, much. Uh, we'll see you very soon. I appreciate it. Thanks, man. Thanks, man.